Hi guys, so today I'm in Ballycullen and it's it's very windy so I hope you can hear me but uh, just have a look at this and I'll explain the story as I go. Now there's nobody buried here but the former priest and I'm not sure even what year he did this but this was a graveyard along with the church and he decided he wanted a lawn and he literally dug up all the graves, dumped the bones in another village and placed all the headstones like you can see here now, it's all stuck here, all overcrowded. But the bodies are not here, they're gone. And uh, I don't know, my, I just can't understand this, how someone could get away with doing something like this. And the lady that pinpointed me this way said he wasn't the nicest of priests. And that's for sure. I want to have a look at some dates here anyway. Erected by Margaret Long for her son Patrick, 1861. And he was 17. We have an 1866 here. In memory of her husband Lawrence, 1885. We have a Thomas here, 1882. And he was 20. Son Edward Hannon, 1876, aged just seven. We have Lawrence here. July 1876, age just two. We have another seven year old here, John. Oh, sorry, jo Johanna, sorry. We have John, he was nine. Patrick, he was 13, 1876. His brother, who died in 1871, he was 36, Thomas, that was. And then we have Margaret. 1915, age 77, and her son William, age 58, 1935. Peter Furlong, age 27, died in 1904. Vanny Finn here, died 1872, age 35. And Power. 1907, Catherine White, 1896, February the 13th, 1861, and that was John Brown. Here we have William, 1903, age 59, James Calvey, 25th of August, 1851. Aged just 35. Um, Bridget, March the 1st, 1860, aged 80. And you'll have to excuse me with the, the audio, it's quite windy. Juliet Power, 1826, I think it says. Michael Whitty, 1872. Memory of his grandfather, Matty Long, 1882. And this goes on and on and on because they're all up the side of the lawn as well with Margaret, 1868. Patrick, 1859. 1826 here, John. And we've even got on the ground headstones. 1868 there. Memory of Henry. Eighteen fifty five. And there's Thomas there. And we've Mary. Eighteen forty eight. This is not 
where I intended to go today at all. After hearing the story, I was flabbergasted. We have a whole tomb there. just dumped 1849 Bridget and you can see that I'm actually walking on grave slabs um, that one looked like it was fixed at some stage 26 year old no first name but Doyle Maybe 1826 on that. 1833, age 22. And that's Martin. There's ones there. And you can see them all up there in a row. We have John Hennessy, 1879. Memory of their father, William Ahern. 1842, 1841, that's Matthew Long, Mary Kinsler, 1847, Patrick Power, 1878, Robert, Catherine, 1852, 19 years old, Bridget, 1855, Anastasia, 1825, Margaret, 1824. Michael, 1858. And Peter, 1870, age 32. Nicholas, 1867, age 74. We've one here. And um, Patrick Murphy. There's an 1817 and an 1851 there. This one is on the ground. We have the crucifixion, Buckler Lord, ladders, tools, hammer, pikes, a drink of water, and more headstones. lovely detail on it. It just makes me so cross. Anastasia Brown, William Stafford, 1947. How could anybody do this to people? 1962 there. We have an 1827 on this. Obviously this happened a good few years ago and the priest himself has now passed on. 1845 there. And I just and I just can't understand the logic. And I'm presuming this is the area that they're originally in because the lady did say it was over a patch of land, a lawn. 1832 there. John Parr, Patrick Parr, 1840. William Sinnott, 1867. And it just goes on. We have Thomas Lacey here, 1896. Ellen Barron, 1894, 
1874-1891. Now this looks like it was only redone. But we have a 1916 there, Margaret Curtis aged 38, James Curtis 1932 aged 57, Stephen there 1892, John Redmond 1871, Patrick Rebel 1872, Nicholas Cullen 1927, and it just Francis Fred Curtis, 1956, and it just keeps going on and on. With this one, it's actually gone sideways, lopsided. Oh, flasher, flashery, flashery, oh, flasherty. Oh, Flatterty, sorry, 1881, 1859, 1847. And we have number two uh, battalion, I think it is, South Wexford Brigade, IRA, in commemoration of their comrades. And we have Martin Roach. Michael Fitzgerald, James Gleason, James Byrne, Robert Walsh, they would be volunteers, I think, who were killed in the explosion at St. Kieran's on the night of October the 12th, 1920. There. This is part of the ones that were taken up 1967 there. We have Mary Kehoe and her son, 1915. And I'm going to just walk right down to the end. We have William Smith here, 1928. <laughs> For Richard, 1883, Patrick Stafford and Peter, 1948 and 1970. Erected by Peter O'Connor in loving memory of his father and mother. David and Catherine O'Connor of Burkittstown, Burkittstown, also his brother Thomas, or Tomas, and you, his niece Kathleen Nacy, died 30 September 1950, aged 30. Also Catherine Barron died 5th of March 1962, aged 77, rest in peace. And at the side of this one, Tom Lacey died 2nd of July 1972, aged 61 interred in Manchester and I'm just going to take a look at this beautiful photo husband and wife and down here it says Annie O'Connor died the 10th of September 1963 aged 83 It's just a real shame. And as I said, it makes me so sad, but very cross that a priest would choose to dig up sacred ground and take the bodies. And I'm sure there were just bones at that stage, but take them and bring them to, I don't know where, another village somewhere. I don't even know whether they had a proper second burial. But as I said, what the lady said was they were just dug up, brought to another village. 
and he took the headstones and laid them here. So very strange, but a horrible story and how it was let happen. I have no idea. So guys, that's it, just a very quick vlog. A very strange story. And just so many headstones. But we'll forget we won't forget them. We won't forget them.